than this. Okay, let's start. Hey everyone, I'm Paul. I'm a developer during uh, the day and during the pandemic and then uh, during my free time, uh, I usually double with music. So this is my hobby. Uh, I don't get paid for producing music. It's just uh, my passion to do so. So what I'm doing here today, that's my passion. That's what I'm sharing here with you. And uh, just a shout out to my friends who are here today. I'm very happy. My friends from uh, Datakind, uh, BDX, uh, from the community, my friends from the workplaces that I used to work to, and uh, the whole post Asia family and the tech community here in Singapore. Welcome. Thanks for coming here. I hope you see friends there. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, what is Sonic Pi? Sure. Sonic Pi is. Uh, the marketing thing that they uh, uh, put there is, uh, but it's for me. It's uh, just a platform so that I can do some coding, and this code magically turns into sound. So I can uh, trigger my bass drum, my drums. I can trigger my synths, my guitars, uh, and so on and so forth, uh, while playing sort of or performing live. But I think I can demo this more by doing it coding, live coding, uh, like uh, how I uh, use or uh, how people use Sonic Pi. So uh, before that, our set list for today is very simple. We'll just make some notes and chords, the basic ones, make some drum beats uh, to support our uh, music, use some external synths if uh, the sounds or instruments inside Sonic Pi is not good for you, you want to use your own synths. Uh, I'll try to show you that and then ultimately make that as a backing track and then I can just play my guitar. <laughs> so let me open the, the uh, Sonic Pi. So I'll just clear this off and then I'll just show. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Yoke is my friend from Data Kind, so I get help to hold the mic. So uh, the basic. Uh, concept of making music in Sonic Pi. Uh, we just hit play. Play is our command to play uh, the music. So I'll just put some uh, number there. So if I play this, can you hear it? Uh, that's the note uh, C, I think middle C on the piano, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I at first I thought this is like the frequency, but when I check, it's actually a MIDI note. So a MIDI uh, a number that corresponds to a, to a note. So if uh, musicians don't really want to type MIDI notes when composing music, you can always uh, put your MIDI note uh, or your uh, musical note as uh, as, the, as uh, the letters. So you have C four, so C uh, fourth octave, and it will sound the same. Yeah, and then of course let me get my sheet that I prepared for this. Um, you can see that the both notes are exactly the same. Uh, like oh. So one thing to note on uh, Sonic Pi, if you're doing copy paste like Control C Control D, it will be Alt Alt C Alt V in Sonic Pi. So that's the same. And then of course, because since this is a programming language, if you're familiar with Ruby, Ruby is not my first language, but um, it has the basic syntax and then looping structures. So if I want to play a sequence of notes, you can just do something like this. For each note, it will just play. And then the sleep um, code that you find there, that's, uh, uh, that indicates how long uh, the note is played. For this one, this means that it uh, will be played for one beat or one count. So one count for each uh, note. So this is like playing C in octaves. C3, C4, and I think C5, which um, you can also uh, replace if you don't want the numbers, you want the uh, actual uh, letter notes, you can do that as well. So it's the same. And then if you want to have, I think you can search in the, in the web on uh, what note is equivalent to what. Or you can just uh, see here. So you have the, all the octaves and then uh, uh, the corresponding notes uh, on which uh, octave you want to play. But 
uh, I don't re, uh, use uh, the numbers usually. I just use the C5, C4 uh, to make it like uh, musical uh, uh, in, in that terms. And what about uh, if I want to play um, two or more notes together uh, to form a chord? So uh, what I have here is a C chord. C chord is a triad of uh, like C, E, and uh, the G note that forms a triad of C. So I'll just play that. So this one, what I'm doing here is I'm going to play each note individually, C, E, G, and then I'll play them as a chord. So if I don't put sleep in between, they will be played as one. Yeah, that's like the, you've arrived at your uh, elevator <laughs> level. <laughs> so uh, let me just uh, get to the other uh, uh, approach. So if you don't want to type all the lines, uh, since this is a programming language, you can just uh, look through each of the notes. So I'll just copy that and then place it on Sonic Pi. So here, it will play uh, each of the note uh, with an interval of uh, half, a, half, a, half a beat. So let me run that. And then if I want to play them together, I'll just remove the slip. And then it will play uh, all three uh, simultaneously. Yeah, all three notes. And then, um, if, uh, if people just want to use a play chord, um, you can, uh, Sonic Pi has a way to just, uh, for you to indicate just the chord and then the corresponding uh, type of chord that you want to play. So let me just uh, do that. So here, I just play here. So I'm going to play a C major chord, the one that you just hear or heard. Um, it, yeah. It's the same chord, that one. But if I want to play a minor chord, here you have a minor. You can actually it has a, a, a intelligence or a autocomplete, so you can choose a, a what chord you want to play. So here I'll just change to a minor, then I'll run. And then if I want to be like fancy and then do some major seventh and stuff, then you can do all, then you can do all the It's a very faint, but yeah. And then um, that's for how we do uh, with, the, with the notes, but you want to have a, a way to, uh, to loop the notes so that you can have a sort of a pattern that you can play over and over again. So let me introduce uh, live looping. So here, um, I'm just going to play uh, a chord for every uh, for every beat. So let me just show that. So it, for every beat, you can hear the note, uh, the chord, I mean. and then let me just uh, stop that. And then usually for chord patterns, you have like a few chords, so uh, you can have a transition. Uh, let me just uh, show a bit of uh, that as well. Let me just show. So here I have uh, C sharp uh, minor and then E major, B major, and then A major, and it will look. Is there a way to? Uh, increase the volume. This is the loudest it gets. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. So any uh, any EDM or a bit cheap fan here. <laughs> so I got this from uh, one of his tracks uh, previously. I mean in the uh, late uh, early 2010s. So this is the the chord pattern. Let me just uh, um, get that. And then here, um, we can have a shortcut way also. So like uh, we did some shortcuts on the previous uh, uh, demo, we can save a lot of typings by just looping um, a certain uh, progression. So this progression, I can just store in a variable and then I can just uh, run it, um, uh, uh, play it in, in the loop. So what we have here is a way 
the cord pattern. So the ring means uh, it will just. the first chord right so it, the tick here is just to invoke the next uh, chord in that sort of pattern so if I play this it will be the sort of the same but the structure is different but it's the structure we have made it as a little bit simpler so that we can manage uh, uh, later yeah so let's uh, do this so the next one that uh, we would want to show is so we have the chords we want to put in some melodies so let me share that a bit. So here, uh, let me just do that. So when, when we do the melodies, it's like uh, what you saw a while ago. Uh, I place here uh, some notes and then do some um, um, duration on how long that note is. And then the, if there are like two notes that I want to play, I just put that two times, play that note, and so on and so forth. So what I did here was... Uh, I encapsulate that uh, uh, that part or that block of code in in a function so that I don't keep writing it again and again, uh, and then uh, call that later. Uh, and then there's a melody for the ending part as well, which is repeated twice. So um, what I did was for that live loop, I just invoke that uh, function to play that part, uh, play the distinctive for the first uh, measure of first bar, and then. Uh, I'll do the repeating part and then the distinct part for the second uh, measure and it sounds like this so this is the melody part so what we're going to do next is how about if we combine the two and then we have um, this one is like it does nothing but since we are going to have multiple drums uh, and then parts like hi-hats bass drum and stuff um, I just put there as a metronome so it will sync to that uh, live loop and then so that uh, when I when we add the instruments later uh, the sound will be um, in sync so this one is our chug chug where's the chug chug Ah, that there is. So it's like uh, 128 uh, beats per minute, and it's uh, driving for each beat. And then what we're going to add now is uh, we want the. So we're going to add some snares. Actually, in, in uh, Avicii does uh, the claps, but I don't have a clap sound here. So instead of clap, I'll just do uh, uh, what you call this. I'll just do snare instead of a clap. Should be there. And then, although this won't be the EDM style because I'm going to add some hi-hats, but just to demo how it works like a drum kit. So this one uh, does it for uh, every half a bit. And then, usually you want to know uh, when what is the start of the measure. So every like maybe eight counts, I'm going to hit the crash symbol. Okay, 
Let me start that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me stop that and then so that we can do more. Uh, sometimes I get carried away <laughs> doing this. So let's uh, do all the melody and then the drums. Let's uh, so B. So what we're doing here is uh, we added the drums. Uh, so I, I removed the hi hat, just the kick and then the snare. And then the melody, and then the, the chord progression. The melody, chords, and our drum and snare. So in, uh, in the song, uh, there's this section where So this is uh, what we want to do is uh, some sort of octave shape, octave shape. But this one doesn't slide. We want it to slide. So uh, there's an option there to do the slide, but uh, you need to put some uh, a note in between so that it can actually slide. So what it does for part, part three, every four times it will play the little note, every four times it will play the, the last uh, uh, sort of note. But uh, to achieve uh, the slide, put in some notes uh, in between. So let's uh, let me show you. I stop this. So I just uh, added uh, uh, an extra note. So for that particular uh, one count at the last beat, so that you can hear the 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 slide. Here you can also uh, use other synths. So this is a piano sound, but uh, in EDM you can choose other sound. So, yeah, so I'm just going to show you this song sound. So the slide is good. Okay. So that is like uh, one, one riff effect. Uh, let's do this. And then the other one is if we want to use uh, an external uh, sound, like here, uh, I have uh, another sound here called a bespoke, but it doesn't sound. Oh no. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll skip that. <laughs> uh, let me just, uh, let me check if I can, uh, Open it again, otherwise I'll skip it. So instruments, uh, keyboard, where's the keyboard? Okay, it sounds now. So this is a vital, I'll show you later on uh, how is that, how to get that. But I'm going to use that as my external synth. And then um, here, I'm just going to uh, call uh, an outside synth. So let me just uh, run it. Um, so by Frost, if for Star Wars, uh, sorry, no, sorry, Avengers fans, uh, this is um, I'm using Loop MIDI to connect my uh, Sonic Pi to uh, bespoke synth. And I call my connector by frost. <laughs> And 
this is the one that uh, white house is uh, open source code. And then you can choose uh, any uh, branches there. Yeah. And then, uh, last thing, let me let us combine everything with drums and then uh, sing and all. Sound cloud, if you here, if you have some food, just 
Thank you very much. Oh, it's been amazing. Uh, Paul, do you have any questions for Paul here? Thank you. Um, just a question. The, the, the sound library, let's say I got a very big uh, sound sampling library I got. Yeah. Like, and can I actually import it into that's one of the cool. yeah, place in the different sound and make that's, a different uh, sound? Yes, that, that's, uh, but I didn't get a chance to demo it. But um, th there's an option to load external. Uh, so the sample here, mm -hmm. uh, was that did I use some sample? Um, the sample drums. Um, you can just add uh, the path to that wave file. Mm -hmm. So you have the sample, right? Just add a wave file, and then it will play. Oh, I see. Yeah. And so some can... sample space, and then your wave uh, file. And can you also make the uh, special effect for the sound? Or oh, yeah. Um, effects for that? Yeah, so um, there's uh, what you call this uh, adding okay. effects. So let me just do this uh, thing. Um, you just didn't get a chance to demo it. Uh, but uh, you can. Whatever's inside, you just encapsulate it with with underscore effects, okay. and then you can put reverb. There's an I think echo also distortion. I see. I yeah, see. and then just encapsulate it, and then whatever's inside. Although mm -hmm. the for the I think uh, at first I was planning to put in my guitar as an input. I mean you can do it with a, a live audio. There's a live audio thing. It's just mm -hmm. that uh, there's a challenge with uh, latency. Oh, yes. So um, what I did was. Uh, Everything, every sound coming from Sonic Pi, just one stream, and mm -hmm. then if I need to play along with it, I put it uh, separately so that uh, so, so this will be a sort of backing track. I see, I see. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Nars. Yes. Um, I think I haven't uh, tried that much. I, if, in, if you uh, push it to, at least to bespoke, this poke has a uh, ability to, uh, so this is stereo, you have left and right channel, right? Um, if you um, put in your MIDI uh, um, uh, out, output in, let's say, the loop MIDI, then you can have that stereo effect. I think this is so it should be stereo, but I haven't uh, uh, delved with that uh, deeply. There should be some stereo. I'm forced no, no, or I think it's default by stereo, I think, but can explore. Else? Yeah, thanks, thanks everyone.